So this is how I kind of come first in the cyber sec industry, and then I become a malware analyst. And I did like uh, at Kaspersky, every malware analyst we call them so I would call those guys woodpeckers. As soon as they're like pecking on the keyboard and trying to identify the tech malware in shift twenty four seven, three sixty five days a week. Sorry, three sixty five days a year, and so on and so forth. So it was quite quite a crazy crazy interesting time. And, and yeah, then then uh, doing different kind of like malware analysis reverse engineering job, a different kind of a small research development project. Yeah, I started my PhD related to, again, the same, more or less same subject of mitigate, spreading and mitigating computer outbreaks, malware outbreaks. And then after a few years, when Kaspersky decided to, to create and found the famous global research and analysis team, I become a member of that team and afterwards like managing that, that beautiful global team from Moscow, being part of an incredible investigation. So I suppose many of your audience seen, read, listened to different kind of presentations at different conferences all, all over the world. That is, that's fascinating. It's like, you know, you kind of jumped into the deep end starting out, like right off the bat, it sounds like. Yeah, not necessarily, but yeah, it was a journey and uh, kind of a different, different things, different milestones, different very, very interesting research projects. And again, being part of a vendor, yeah, you know it. It's always kind of a, why do I like this kind of work? Why do I like this industry? It's like always something new. It's on a daily basis. You're learning, you are chasing those cyber criminals. You're like looking to, to their TTPs and their behaviors, and you're trying to mitigate them and be a little bit one step before like being being proactive in in mitigation and it's it's always it's always very interesting especially again besides all this kind of vendor stuff you are part of the most famous research team in the industry in my opinion at least how i see it and of course like i suppose everybody has different opinions but i think back in those days kaspersky great team was with like top notch researchers Again, a lot of hands off, uh, hands on stuff. I was more focusing on kind of a team leadership management or a kind of a motivation stuff, but also I, my, I had my hands dirty in a couple of different research projects as well. So yeah, the, especially again, working with so smart people from different countries, different regions with different kind of an approach to work, different mentalities. It was like, come on, to be honest. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Good old times uh, today. And I do not provide any comments about what the company looks like today or what the great team is today, but it's, it's not, it's a completely different story. I left Kaspersky uh, just after this uh, geopolitical tensions between the Ukraine and Russia, when the war started. So I spent almost 20 years in the company starting there in 2002, uh, leaving the company in 2022. The war started at the end of February and like, again, everybody has their own kind of a red lines and maybe that particular crazy stuff was my kind of end of my career in that beautiful company. First of all, me and my family, we relocated from Russia to another beautiful country called Israel. And that was an obvious kind of reason to, to, to leave the company. 